What is going on, guys? Pro player Apathy here from Team Seattle Surge. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys tips how to have perfect aim like a pro player. So pay attention, look closely, because, guys, I've been doing this for years. And you know us pros, we have really, really, really good aim. So I'm going to give you guys some of my best tips to help you guys get to that next level and be dominant just like us. All right, guys, to start off the video, we're going to be talking about one of the most important things, and that is your settings. So for your sensitivity, I would say hover between 5 and 6. I would say about 98% of pro players play in around this sensitivity. Don't try to be special, man. This is what works. Try not to overcomplicate things. If you really want to have a good aim, play around 5, 6, maybe 7. Try not to play in too slow of a sense and not too fast. I can play on 1.0 as well. I know you can kind of experiment with that. Then for my aim response curve type, this is important. Pay attention. I use dynamic over linear and standard. I've used all of them. I've tested all of them. I've ran with all of them. And dynamic feels the best for me. It's actually, I feel like it actually helps me a lot. So if you aren't playing on dynamic, switch to dynamic. Beam way more dynamic. And then for my aim assist, I do play on standard. Now these other two can help you have heavier aim assist and maybe kill people very far distance. But overall, it really messes with your aim. It messes with my aim. It's hard. It, just the aim assist pull can be very bad sometimes. So in my opinion, I would say get stay with standard, get used to the standard, and just practice on it and just try to get better. In the long run, standard will be better for you. All right, time to enter the battlefield for the next tip. All right, guys, so for tip number two, we're going to be talking about centering. Now, when you're running around the map and... All right, guys, so for tip number two, we're going to be talking about centering. Now, when you're running around the map, you're going to want to have your crosshairs in the middle of your screen. You want to have it right in the middle. You don't want to have it a little higher, slightly lower in the middle. And that way you're ready to engage in a gunfight. Now, as you can see, when I do run around the map, my crosshairs do sometimes. I move them a little up, a little down. This guy knows I'm going to approach him. Nice little C4 from him. Kenny, you're a beast. But the whole point of this is you're ready to engage into any gunfight in that area. Now, now obviously, when you move up or when you're trying to see if someone's up top, you're going to look up instead of down. And that's... That's fine. That's what you want to do. That's what centering is about. You want to center everywhere and everything you can. Obviously, you're going to be caught off guard sometimes, and that's why you do lose gunfights. And this guy is straight looking here. So, as you see, when I run around the map, when I maneuver around the map, I'm constantly centering. Look up there. Go back down. And the whole point of this is just like, I'm ready, man. I'm ready to engage into any gunfight. And these guys with their C4s, man. So, as you can see, I'm running around the map, and I'm centering. Go up. Center back up. And the whole point of this is, I'm saying, I'm telling you guys, you're ready for the gunfight. You're ready. You're not going to get caught slacking. And this is something pro players do all the time. And it's a reason why our shot can be very, very good and just very on point because we're centered. We're ready to engage anyone. Obviously, I knew he was kind of there. I wasn't ready because I'm just talking to you guys. But you get the point. And centering is such a thing that, like I said, it's, it can be overlooked a little bit. You just want to center around the map, centered on him, ready to snap in. And it makes it easier to snap in too because... When you're centered on somebody, you know, you're already on the guy. Your crosshairs are on the guy. Now, all you have to do is aim in and just hit some shots. Now, obviously, hitting the, sh the shots, that's going to be, like, the tricky part. But with practice, you know, with practice, you're going to get better at it. Oh, my God. Can you stop throwing explosives at me, please? You're going to get better at it with practice. It doesn't it's, doesn't come in one day. You know, you just got to just learn all these tips, keep playing, keep putting in time, and your shot's going to get so much better infinitely better man you're gonna love it you're gonna love every second of it so right here get this nice little two-piece i got a knife so i'm gonna run away but it just, it just depends where you're at on the map right just for example so let's say i'm gonna run through here i don't see nothing here now i'm gonna center up you see how i'm, I'm middle and i center up and that way if there is a guy there like maybe there isn't a guy there well there isn't a guy there actually but if there is a guy there i all i have to do now is now that i'm centered on him now i just have to aim in and then it makes the kill way easier to get. And just I'm just prepared. I'm, I'm anticipating the gunfight. All right, guys. So for the next tip we're going to be talking about is controlling recoil. Now, this is a very big thing. And I feel like people are kind of bad at it sometimes. And they're wondering why their gun recoils a lot. And like, how do you shoot your gun so good? How do you how is your gun shoot so straight? And I've had people come to my streams in past Call of Duties and this Call of Duty and, you know, ask me, how do I shoot so straight and how is my gun not recoiling? And it obviously, it recoils, man. Every gun recoils. Every gun has a sort of a recoil pattern. And it also depends on what attachments you run. So there's a, definitely a couple of factors into it. But at the end of the day, you can master sort of the recoil 
almost to perfection. Obviously, you're not going to have it 100% down, but you can have it like 90% down, 95% down. And you're going to notice it, man, because you're going to you're gonna start beaming kids. You're going to be like, wow, bro, I really got this recoil pattern down. And something that a lot of gun has is the biggest thing about these guns and the pattern they have is just they go up. Like, majority of them just go up. And that is one of the biggest things you just have to control, the up. So that brings me to tip number three. And I had to go into a bot lobby to show you guys this because obviously it wouldn't be that easy doing this in a public match because people will shoot at me. <laughs> so we're going to shoot at this wall really quickly. I'm not going to move my right stick at all. As you can see, it goes upright, mainly up. So as, you, as I was saying earlier, it's mainly up, but it does go right a little bit. Sorry, brother. Um, and you too. See you later. Okay, or not. Here, hold this. Um, but so, yeah, it goes up. So I'm going to do it again. Up, mainly up, but a little right. So what does that mean? I mean, it's kind of obvious, but when you're aiming in or when you're shooting, you want to slowly and lightly, it's a light tap. You want to sl like slightly hold down and you can't do it too, too, you can't do it too much as you can see on the wall and you can't do it too much because if you do it too much, then you're just going to go way down, right? So you want to go slightly. So if you can see the difference, this is the other two, just not controlling it. This is controlling it. And you can see there is a big difference. And these bots, wow, they know sure how to destroy a video. So we're going to shoot against this wall right here. So as you can see, it goes up. It goes up slightly right, but the right part doesn't really matter that much. What What's important is controlling the recoil down. So as you can see, that's controlling it down. It's pretty precise in a pretty good area. Slight, just slight pressing down. As you can see, it's in a good precise area. So that's the whole thing. And every gun is different. Attachments make it different. If you want to really know your recoil pattern, simply go into a free-for-all like this. I would recommend to turn off bots, though. Have bots turn off. Use the gun you want to use or that you really like and want to get better with. So, for example, like right here, I'm going to pick up this M13. It goes a lot to the right. I'm pretty sure this thing might... Look at this. Going to the right like crazy. It might have no attachments. It is what it is. So, if I, let's say, for example, I am using this gun. And this is a gun. These are the attachments I have. It recoils this way. So, I know it goes a little bit to the right, not that much up. So, I mainly got to control the recoil slightly down and more to the left. And that's how you get better, man. That's how you just control the recoil. And the goal is once you do have the recoil pattern down, let's say you know that you simply just got to go a little bit down. Look at that. It's nice. It's beautiful. Rather than just letting it spray all over the place. Once you have that recoil pattern down, then you practice it, man. Practice makes perfect. You either start up a bot game and just start shooting bots and practicing your shot. Or you can just go into a public match and start playing against people and practicing it. But I would really recommend if you just got it down and you just finally realize this and you're still getting your aim down. You know, you're a novice. You're not the best player right now. I would recommend that practicing get against bots a little bit. Getting the recoil down a little bit more before you get, you know, go into the public matches. Go play whatever you want to play. Because... If not, you know, things are going to get a little crazy really fast. And that brings me to tip number four, guys. This is something that not a people, a lot of people uh, take into consideration, especially I would say more the noob players and more the beginners than the novice, not noobs. That's a that's a horrible word. The beginners, the beginners, they don't really take this com in consideration. They barely move their left stick when they shoot at people. Now, obviously, your right stick is your aimer. You obviously want to use this stick a lot to control your aim. But you also want to use your left stick. You want to use both. So whether it's strafing, basically strafing your crosshair into their body, sort of like this. Whether it's strafing, um, just using movement and using your left stick to kind of help guide your aim onto the person. You want to use both sticks. And that's a very big thing that I think it takes a little practice. I'm not going to lie. Uh, to really get really abuse it and really get like your aimer really good what you're with using both sticks but that's something that is overlooked and i feel like like i said uh beginners don't really take that into consideration obviously like when you're when you're standing when you're standing in a certain spot in a one spot yeah i mean you're gonna use your your right stick mainly whenever you're standing still you're gonna use your right stick mainly you could use a you could move a little bit when you're standing still i like to move a little bit i don't like i don't like just sitting completely still but yeah, you can you you mainly using your right stick in a situation like this. You know, you're just gonna hit the shots. You might use a little movement here, but don't move off the head glitch. Stay in that power spot. Low key, secret tip, secret tip. But whenever you're running around and engaging in gunfights and going all crazy on them and just moving around 
like a maniac you're gonna want to use both sticks man you want to use both sticks to help you shoot straight to help you really guide you and guide your shot hit some but the good thing about moving using both sticks too it's about also hitting movements and hitting slides and little jump shots and little fast movement ticks that's it's hard for, for them to react sometimes and you're just ready man you're ready for any gunfight takes a little practice but make sure you're using your left stick to like strafe around uh using both as you can see i like to strafe around a lot with my stick i'm a big strafer type of guy and i feel like that's part of the reason why my shot's so good it's because i'm really good at using both my sticks so make sure to practice that you can do this also in a free-for-all lobby. Just go in a free-for-all. Bots are your best friend, especially if you're just starting and getting used to a lot of these things. Go into a free-for-all. Practice your shot. Use these tips that I told you. And trust me, man, it will take time, but the improvement you will see it will be insane. All right, guys. So hopefully some of these tips help you out and help you become a better player and help improve your aim. I gave you some of the best tips that I could give you. Make sure to drop that like. Comment down below what you thought of the video and subscribe to the channel. This has been your boy, Apathy. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I'm out. Peace.